the ministry's decision to embark on biotechnology programs hinges on the fact that agriculture plays a central role in Zimbabwe's economy. If you look behind you, we're joined by Catherine, who's going to guide us through the NBA's tissue culture project. Hello, I'm Catherine Mugochi. Welcome to the National Biotechnology Authority, where we're conducting a tissue culture project whereby we eliminate viruses from different crops. I am currently in a field of sweet potato plants. If you look all around you, you will see different varieties of our sweet potato plants. This is where I will collect my, tish, my planting material, where I'll then use tissue culture techniques to remove the viruses from the planting material. Join me in the lab as I show you how to employ these tissue culture techniques to eliminate the viruses. Life technologies are strategic for national development and are meant to enhance the food production sector delivery among other economic sectors. So this is our main tissue culture lab where we conduct our plant preparation as well as our media preparation and sterilization procedures. On my right you have Mr Mgabe who is preparing stock solutions for our disinfectants which we use to sterilize the lab. On my left Molin Mujumi is preparing media for our tissue cultures and then on my far left Mr Mtsaru is loading the autoclave with prepared media for sterilization. So um, this is my planting material which I'm then going to place under running water for two hours. So Dennis and I are carrying out our meristem dissections. This is my planting material, which has been under running water for two hours. It has then been sterilized in a disinfectant and undergone three sterile washes. So now I will dissect my meristem tip from the planting material using a stereo microscope. The reason why we dissect the meristem tip specifically is because it is the only part of a plant that is virus free. And once we have extracted our meristem tip, we can then culture it and from that meristem tip grow an exponential amount of virus free plantlets. So we use a stereo microscope to dissect. Our meristem tip and once we have isolated it, we then culture it in our prepared media and that is our cultured Mary stem tip. Once we have cultured our Mary stem tip, we place it on our culture shelves and allow it to grow. After several weeks, the Mary stem tip develops into a callus, which you see right here. And then from that callus, you get a shoot that develops. Once a shoot has developed, we then place it into these bigger jars and allow them to grow for rapid multiplication. The jars that you see from your left to your right are growing plantlets that have been cultured from a single Mary stem tip and they will then give us plenty more plantlets that are virus free. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for visiting us. I hope you enjoyed our tissue culture experience.